Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, take the water down black. It's going to add a little bit of water to that. And I'm going to paint the, uh, the back side of the dog. Um, I don't want it to be like super in focus or anything, but I do want it to be uh, fuzzy looking and stuff. And then we're going to come across the front really wet. Um, you can splay your bristles and pull that color down into those highlighted areas around the dog like that. Um, as you're coming around, the top of his head is like right in here, so I'm just going to kind of indicate where I need it to, the background is to not be as, um, Uh, the front ground, the foreground is more prominent. The background is less. And uh, so we're just going to paint that in. He is definitely blacker. So while it's still wet, let's uh, drop in some black. But I do want to uh, soften the edges as it goes into the background over here. To his head a little bit. Well, that's okay. We can fix it. That's going back to that other side. I'm just going to. The brush is moist, but it's not wet at all. It's just barely. Barely have any moisture to it at all. So I can blend this side into that side without creating a, a line. So while this is still wet. We're going to add a little bit more dark, coming down to that lighter part of his head, and um, add that in. And then I'm starting to get a, um, a line on the outer part over here, so we're going to blend that. And um, I'm going to let this completely dry, and then I'm going to soften that, uh, that edge like what we did over here. So. The top of his head should be right in there. Um, so the background right there is actually the darkest. Uh, the top of his head has a little bit of highlight, so we're going to put that darker behind creating this uh, hair effect at the top. There's a lot to do on these uh, pet portraits and different um, animal pictures that we do. I uh, hope you enjoy the process as it just kind of seems like it just develops to me. Now I'm gonna need to let that dry. So I'm gonna jump down and do his, finish up his nose because those nostril holes should be um, uh, dry by now. And the nose is a little bit browner than the black hair around it. So I'm gonna take that black that I have. Oops, that's the blue, sorry. Get that blue away. Don't want the blue. I want this brown. And, um, making it very dark. I'm mixing that a little extra brown into that black uh, space. And I am gonna just touch it to the water. So you can see how it kind of runs. It's You don't wanna dry brush this part. And um, you're going to do uh, this area uh, down underneath and skipping underneath those little uh, highlights that you made. So here's the little highlights. You're gonna skip around those we're going to blend it into this space. Um, and you're making it as dark, follow the pattern. It is super dark underneath those. And then it gets a little bit lighter as it gets towards this, um, this center stripe. 
and the only way to get that lighter is to um, is to uh, uh, lighten the color by adding a little water. All right. So we're going to add a little bit of water to create this uh, lighter space. I'm actually going to clean out some of the water in my brush. Um, there is a little bit of hair right on the edge. So you're going to take and make shortest little strokes that you possibly can. Uh, in order to let it look like that hair is coming up into the um, into the skin area, you know where it's attached, the skin area is. And it's darker um, right in here. It's actually lighter. It's darkest right next to that little highlight um, underneath the nostril. And then we got to clean out our brush 100%. And it looks like he's got a band-aid on his <laughs> on his nose here. So we're gonna take the brown, the kind of watered down uh, brown. And we're going to uh, put a little bit on the sides and then leave it lighter in the middle. And then it's actually more on this side, uh, on the darker side. And we're going to soften those lines. We're gonna kinda touch those lines and blend it into that blue space. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water into that blue space. Make sure you use the clean water. Uh, you don't want this to, uh, you don't want to lose your highlight that you put in already. So we're putting that um, in there. And we're going to make the dark. It goes right up to the nostril, the brown. little highlight is only on the bottom. And then they have to come back with a little black. Some of my brown from the sides disappeared. I'm going to come back and put that in. That's very dark. It is kind of a grayed brown after all. So I'll lift a little bit of it off. And just have that color come up. It's all these tiny little bitty um, adjustments that you make that uh, will make it look more realistic. But I'm making some more absolute black with the three different colors. Uh, so I can put this, I put a second coat so that they definitely look different in the uh, nostrils from the skin part of the nose. Um, it just wasn't dark enough for me. And then bring that down in and have that little bit of hair on the sides just kind of coming up. And then we're going to need to see the, the harsh line on the top part. We need to blend that into it. And I'm going to go with a little bit of the um, the brown that we had made uh, earlier. And I'm going to take 
a flat brush, which I don't have. Uh, so I'm gonna use Filbert. Oops, that's a dirty one. Uh, I'm, I want to damp the brush, right? So um, remember how I showed you to, you've got a wet brush and it's drippy, like see that big drop coming off of there? You're gonna press in this side and press in that side so there's only water in the tip. So that's uh, one of the um, best ways to get rid of a harsh line is to um, is to just kind of mingle that color into a very oh it's not very wet at all so actually I need to turn this upside down because anytime you're trying to follow a line you want to um, you want the bristles to follow the back side of that line. And um, so I'm lifting out a little bit, pushing back that black, and I'm gonna add that brown. I'm gonna go back to my smaller brush. Clean water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that brown uh, as it goes into this space. Kind of mixing those two colors together. And I can do that for my setup so y'all can see it better. So I'm just adding a little bit of the brown into the nose. You'll see it in the reference photo. So uh, it's kind of right in here as well. We'll lift a little bit of it out of the black, getting rid of that uh, harsh line that's there. And then into that space, you're going to drop in a little bit of that. I uh, actually want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to put some over here and touch that dark. Uh, hmm. Too dark. There we go. And you're going to drop in a little bit of the brown into the surface of the nose. So you're just kind of adding that in. You can go, you know, back and forth as many times as you, you know, as you need to, in order to make that um, uh, the color that you want it. And this is more of the shadow side of the face. So this side of the wow, that's really black. That was just sepia, and I've watered it down. So I'm going to water it down some more. Put in a little bit more shadow on this side of the nose and uh, blend that up. And there's an absolute uh, highlight, clean water, dab off all the, um, almost all of the water. And right here in the front, you can do a little scrub, just barely touching a few of the uh, bristles down to the uh, surface and lifting out a, uh, a highlight there. The uh, only way to make that highlight stand out a little bit more is to add a little bit of a, a dark uh, behind it. Well, a little too dark. Um, also on the um, bottom nostril, on this side, I've lost the uh, highlight right here. So I'm going to damp. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of water here, kind of lifting out that color. And you can take a towel, uh, just a little piece, and add that um, in. There isn't any... Um, this is, should be brown, not uh, black. But there isn't any uh, 
this little highlight is only at the bottom, but it's not, you know, just 100% blue. It's kind of grayed, so I'm putting a light wash of this uh, brown color uh, that we use through here, which is mostly sepia, uh, to, uh, you know, to kind of tone that down a little bit. Just keep building up your layers. All right. <sighs> Seems like we've been here for a long time. <laughs> We're gonna jump to uh, to our regular black again. So. Uh, we're going to do his um, the bottom part of his mouth. Now you want this black. Uh, you want to. You can even splay the bristles if you need to. Um, you want to put uh, little lines uh, into the brown part, and then bring that black down. There is a tiny little bit um, of a shadow of his you know, face on the surface, but, you know, if this is the shadow side of the dog, this little bitty piece is just from his elbow, I guess. So we're creating this little, little brown hairs by putting the black underneath. Um, nice and dark. You don't see his lip or anything. Sometimes you do, but his lip being black, you don't see that. Uh, and we're just going to put a tiny little bit at the tip. Whoops. Went into the green. Let's push that back. Remember, the guys, there's nothing you can do that we can't fix. People say that watercolor is too hard because you can't fix anything, but you really can. I'm just touching that green part that was uneven already from doing the background, filling it in black. And now we have his mouth. Wasn't that easy. Now we get to do the best part. For me, that's, I love doing the eyes. I'm gonna put in this little shadow just to get rid of it too. Oh, we've gotta do the top of the head. Didn't see that part. Uh, this is just a grayed out shadow from his elbow. It's darkest next to the dog and then it flares out. Um, you don't want a harsh line, so we're gonna, I'm wondering if that's the pencil line actually. I'll go up above it, push that color back down. There we go. And uh, you don't want it to look hairy. So uh, it definitely needs to be blended smooth. So it looks more like a, uh, a shadow. And then I'm just gonna add water out past the um, edge. Well, I just took all of that color. Now just water. enough for me. Okay, I'm fine with that. We're going to leave it alone at this point. <laughs> All right. Now the uh, lighter color of the brown, I mean of the black, get a little bit of this blue in there, a little bit of the 
that's red in there. Well, that's very purple. So I need more brown. Okay. Let's see. Color match. Not bad. Definitely needs to be watered down some more. And then we're going to splay our bristles. <clears throat> and uh, put in the grayer tones. Whoops, a little too dark still. Let's see, there we go. And uh, put in the grays. Whoops, wow, there's a lot of color in there. I'm gonna splay these bristles that are just clean water. See if I can't move around some of this paint that I already put down. There you go. And just make it look like the highlight is on the top. water. Very good. Now we're going to get to the eyes. <laughs> it's so fun to do these. At the very um, bottom underneath the eyes is a little white uh, line, but it's not absolutely white. It's gray, right? So if you were to look at that, there's a little white line across it, almost like it's a hair or something. Uh, so that's definitely gray, then there's a black, and then there's those gray uh, hairs. So here's the gray hairs. So right next to that is going to be your black. Oh, it's very blue. Red. Oh, here's a good guy. And you want it just in the tip. So if you've mixed a whole bunch of color and your brush is fat, Clean out your brush really good and then just go pick up the um, that particular color so it's right along this line. Almost looks like it's just a, a line and then it comes into the darkness of the eye there. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to grab my glasses, guys. <clears throat> I'll be right back. see we're going to uh, uh, really look at our picture and the um, brown at the bottom of his eyes is pretty dark so um, that's on the inside of the eye. I'm just trying to map out where I'm going at this point. So it's, this is not the way it's gonna end up, obviously. So then we need some of this really dark brown because it's practically black, but it is very dark brown. As artists, we get to change those things to whatever we see we want to make a change in, um, we can add it, make it a little bit lighter brown just so that it has more, you know, light in the eye itself, or we can make it um, uh, a little more uh, golden or, you know, whatever you choose to do. And then this is the white spot. 
So this is the little black wine right here. This whole area is the black line. And then this goes out into that gray hair. This is the white space here. And it's blacker right in here. On this side. And there is a um, eyelid kind of And we'll do the little splayed hairs there. And then the eyeball itself is right underneath that. We're gonna add that black in here. And then it just turns into the black of the hair. So I'm gonna splay these bristles or see if it works. Uh, it just kind of turns into Tiny little bits. This is uh, definitely a grayer color. We're gonna Play these out. See if I can get them to stay out. You see that little bit of gray hair that's around his eye? little bitty tiny row of hair. <clears throat> and we're gonna make a really dark black. Whoops. Get some of that blue. Whoops. Get some of the red. Makes this a deep, deep, deep purple. Get some of this brown. So rich in brown. It's a little bit thicker <clears throat> uh, in order to do the pupil area of the eye that comes up into here, into that uh, top part. There's a real thin little line between the two highlights. One's brown and one's uh, not. The um, highlight over here. And then there's a little one underneath. And this is the uh, rest of the pupil. You have to really look at your, your um, reference photo really well to see all these different tiny little pieces right here. It almost looks like there's uh, um, eyelashes, so we're just going to draw some little skinny lines. And then it's blacker over here. So you end up with those uh, odd shapes going on inside the eye. That's just something reflecting in his eye, but you're going to want the... Um, brown uh, and I'm going back to my uh, darker brown but it's uh, uh, lighter than the sepia and I'm going to put a little bit of highlight there this one is brown as well and then that one is kind of bluish let's see that's definitely great So this one has a little blue to it, and I 
touch the black. So I'm just going to lift that back out and try that again. Clean water. Um, I'm actually going to try a little bit brighter blue just so it shows up. And there you go. And there's a little bit of that blue on the outside of that highlight. And there's kind of a highlight right over here that I missed. So we're just going to lift out a little of the color because it is brown. And um, in order to get our eye, and then we're going to mix the gray colors uh, that we had had before. Let's see. Um, I need to test it. There we go. Uh, this is not absolute white uh, through here. It is definitely kind of a bluish gray. So we're going to use that blue, I mean that gray color that we mixed before with a little bit of blue we just put in. Kind of tapping that color in. And I'm going to use a little bit of that goldeny brown uh, right here on this. Put a few little marks on that little white. In order to bring that out, we're definitely going to need to uh, go back over the absolute blacks, but I don't want to move anything right now. So we're going to jump over to the other eye. And there is a brown um, area of the eye right here, just kind of blocking in color. And then the next section is that gray, which is really a white, but it's just super watered down um, right here. And most of this other eye is um, black because it's on the shadow side, but there is a little bit of uh, brown in a couple of places towards the bottom of the eye. So we're going to, where do we mix that last black? Right there. Definitely looks blue. And he's got some very strange uh, colors on his eye on this side. It's um, uh, black along the edge. And then it's black around these little um, very uh, geometrical type shapes. And that's round through there. I'm going to blue up this black a little bit. Being in the shadow, it's always good to add a little of the blue. Oh dear. <laughs> we can fix anything. <laughs> We can just blend that out or we can just lift it off with our thirsty brush, right? Now just remember that that area is wet, uh, so you don't want to set your hand in it or something, but you know, we can fix that. This is the light. There is two white lines and it's a blue black in between absolute black going up on top and there's blue below mixing into that brown and that black on this side
These absolute whites are kind of grayed down. I'm just going to go in the direction of the fur. This uh, little white part of his eye is no longer gray, so I'm going to gray that up a little bit more. And uh, add some more of these absolute blacks. To... Uh, Show that direction, the roundness of the eye. Fuzzy up those little edges so they don't look so, um, not like hair. All right, guys. Doesn't he sparkle? I like adding the little bit of blue inside the eyes, a little bit of brown inside of the eyes. You can always go back in and you want to pull out, um, some more of these colors. You just take your little bit, uh, Oh, I'm dropsy today. Your um, uh, brush, splay it out like this. Pick up some of those uh, brown colors that you were using before. You can even add some of the, the darker brown. You can just run the brush across the absolute uh, brown part. And then you're just going to kind of blend in the, um, the black uh, with blend a little bit of brown into those blacker areas so it's not just goes bam black to uh, a lighter color and stuff oh goodness we've got to do the paw man I thought we were done <laughs> this may have to go into three weeks lessons which you know I'm fine with it it was a lot harder piece to do um so Take your time, guys. Do it well. If it takes you uh, many hours, then let it take many hours. Okay, we're going to um, splay the bristles. Let's see what colors. Yeah. And um, well, they just went back together. Might have had too much water, so here we go. Uh, we're just going to lightly touch into these areas to give them a little bit of a, more of a hair effect. Bring a little bit of that brown up into the black. Be careful doing that. If you push too hard, you're going to get um, the black into your brown, which you really don't want. And um, you definitely don't want a pattern uh, going here. So if your bristles stop staying out, then just open them up. And right now I'm just using a touch of a damp brush to this. And uh, pick up some color. Splay them out again. <laughs> Try again. There we go. And uh, put those little brush strokes in. Just looks so cool to have those in. Make sure you're following the direction of the the fur. And uh, just kind of fill it up. Do it on both sides. <clears throat> this one goes down. <clears throat> We're going to start with just the darkest brown. We might have to add some of the, um, um, 
bright brown. Now, once again, I actually pull better than I do um, push. So I'm going to uh, pull this dark color out from underneath. Well, that's not very dark at all. Nope. We're gonna have to go with sepia. So this is the darkest brown. I don't wanna add it to that color actually. I think that will turn out better because it's pretty dark coming out of there. Uh, you want to uh, draw some lines towards the uh, face and then you want to pull it, oops, didn't stay splayed. You can always use a little um, fan brush for this as well because uh, over time this can kind of mess up your brushes. But um, you can do this darkest part. Yep, all the way down. And then it goes more the uh, brownish color. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of just the actual brown. It's uh, umber. So if you wanted to use the uh, sienna color that we made, you can. So now I have dark hair and lighter hair. It's just the shadow of the face on the leg because he's kind of laying on his arm. Like that. And uh, it's definitely lighter on this side. So you can take your uh, the uh, dark and fling it up into that um, lighter hair to get that little bit to go. And we're gonna get some of that super dark brown. That's the burnt umber and the uh, kind of sienna color. And put that uh, hair around the around the little toes. Hmm. That didn't work very well. Let's see if I can get it a little bit thicker. There we go. The um, paws, um, some of the hairs going around that claw are pretty dark. I think you can see a little bit of the, the paw itself. So we're going to create that look. This uh, little separation here between two of the toes. And this toe kind of turns up, so you can definitely see the paw of it. Oh! Ah. Okay. <laughs> and then there's uh, some little hairs going towards the face. <clears throat> I 
in the shadow of the face on the uh, on the ground here. Okay, back to our tiny brush and our absolute black. Let's get some really good thick black worked up here. And we're just gonna make our claws in that toe. Absolute black. It's looking very brown, so let's, uh, yeah, that looks darker. Claw is definitely going uh, downward or sideways. I mean, that one's going down, and that one's going around, so that we have that definite little shiny highlight on his uh, paw. But that should be gray. So we're gonna pick up some of this bluish. Uh, tone actually I think I'm gonna whoops wrong blue I'm gonna use this gray that we had up here earlier and put them on that little blue highlight because they're not white highlights they are definitely definitely dark all right guys this did take quite a while so I'm not going to expect y'all to do it in one or two sessions um, let's go ahead and make it a three weeker like we would in class and uh, depends on how you know how long it takes you if I hear back from some of you guys ready for another one then I'll uh, then I'll go ahead and publish another but I think at this point we are uh, pretty close to done. You can go back in and add any little uh, darks where those absolute whites are. Kind of gives it a kind of gives it a uh, uh, more textured look. And you might even uh, you know do some lift offs to make this uh, brown fur. Whoops. That should definitely go flat. <laughs> um, make that brown fur look like it's going over the um, black fur. Just keep building up your layers, guys. The more you do, the better it's going to look. Um, I'm not telling you to work on something forever. Don't think that because uh, there is a point where you just kind of have to be done and go to the new thing. And, uh, anyways, I love it. He turned out pretty cool. I like, uh, little Rottweiler puppy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to call him done. No, I'm not. This should be black. It's a, it's a, uh, shadow. Oh, wait, that's brown. <sighs> Just thought I was done. <laughs> Get a little bit of this blue in there, a little bit of this red. And this is the uh, shadow on the other side. So we can be kind of smooth on the outside, but not next to the dog, obviously. But we don't want each hair to be the same length either. So make sure you play around with that. And uh, you can use your smaller brush and uh, I 
um, get a little bit of a shadow effect going from his face on this side. Blur that line out. And now we can call him done. Of course, you have to sign it. But, uh, you know, we could play around with him forever. There is a uh, dirty shadow right there as well. So, I don't know if y'all want to put that in. It's just kind of a, a grayed area. So, just kind of working that in. I keep looking and seeing things. So, you keep looking and seeing what you see. See what you might want to do. How you might want to do it. Um, there was, uh, I never did soften this edge or this edge. So, that's an easy one uh, to do. You take your uh, damp uh, brush, but not uh, wet. And you're just going to kind of scrub up that air edge. So it doesn't look like a straight line. You can actually kind of push the uh, push the line a little bit, you know, in order to uh, fuzz that up. Kind of tapping. <laughs> my finger is here, uh, keeping my hand from having to sit down so I can move my whole arm. But. Uh, uh, the finger keeps tapping on it every time I move it. He's looking awesome. I have a good friend that has a Rottweiler. It's been a while since he was a puppy though, but I may end up having to See if this looks like what he looked like as a baby. Whoops, don't want to get fuzzy. <clears throat> Just kind of fuzz that out. Oh, you cute. Oh, guys, I love it. I cannot wait to see what you did with your Rottweiler puppy. Please, please, please send me pictures of what you do and everything. But most of all, to help me learn how to teach better, how long did it take you to do this? If we have a one-hour class, did it take you three hours? Did it take you four hours? Um, whatever uh, I need to do to make sure I plan my uh, lessons to help you guys out. So let me know how it went. And let me see pictures. Send me pictures. Uh, don't forget to sign it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.